Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review SAS, Red Notice, and or SAS, Red Notice. Wish this film had some more SAS, it might have been a little more interesting. Unfortunately, this is definitely one of those straight to VOD kinds of action movies that you're just like, huh, well, they got some recognizable names, and there's action in it. It's an action movie, so people who like action movies, they'll watch it, right? And that is true. I think people that do enjoy action movies, or just, like, I know I can be very much an action film snob, so, like, maybe not for me, but for those that can just go in, turn the brain off, and just go in for some action, this is it. And, except this one is two hours and four minutes, and that's a, it's a bit more commitment than just your brainless action movie. And you have director Magnus Martins, who had previously done a lot of work on television with 12 Monkeys and The Banshee. And this film feels very blah. It's the, there's no life to the cinematography, how it's shot. It's very much just point and shoot, there it is little over edited when it comes to the action sequences but in general the action isn't really unique or particularly interesting when it does get bigger there's a lot of explosions that absolutely look horrendously bad the CGI is just terrible like blowing up trains and flipping helicopters and pipelines getting blown up and just like Ugh, this doesn't look great not great at all, but you have some some name recognizable names in this film. It's centered on this man who's going off on the train across the channel to propose to his doctor uh, girlfriend, and we have our main character played by Sam Hogan, and you have Hannah John Kamen who plays his hopefully to be fiancé. She's very charming. She brings a lot of personality in. She's interesting. I don't know if he's particularly like a standout action lead in this. You have an antagonist in Ruby Rose who's just kind of there doing her thing. And like Andy Serkis is cursing and using a Cockney accent as... I don't even know. Honestly, the story of this gets so convoluted with who's on whose side, who's doing what for whom, and who's this person? Why are they mad at this person? Where are you supposed to go from here? And it's a web of complicated, overly complex ideas and relationships and who's working for who and who's going to turn on who. And after two hours and four minutes, you're kind of just like, do I really care at this point? Do I feel invested? And the film starts off because Ruby Rose's father is played by Tom Wilkinson, who's involved with Andy Serkis's character, so they're involved with each other. But then they're like hired mercenaries and they have crimes against humanity. If they said crimes against humanity one more time and this was a drinking game, I think everybody would have died of alcohol poisoning. But they're crimes against humanity and they hijack this train and Ruby Rose has like a chip on her shoulder based off of what happens to her family and you're like do I really care about you from the start it's just like she like they start off with this obnoxious exposition like horribly on the nose exposition setting up this family dynamic her basically being like hey dad why haven't you picked me as your successor yet and it's like oh well, I can't. De I definitely can't pick your brother, who's not a great fit. And it's just like, why? Why is this so on the nose and obnoxious? Trying to explain all this stuff, and then you have the film kicking into gear after like the first fifteen minutes into what the actual story is on this train, and there's nothing particularly interesting or unique that goes on in the film action-wise. So basically, you have a group of committed actors. Some bringing a little more talent than others, and yeah, action happens, and people double-cross each other, 
or turn on each other or were they involved with each other it's a bit convoluted and it's just in the end I don't think I'm gonna be remembering SAS Red Notice very soon at all it's gonna go woo but if you're a fan of just throwing on some action movies, go check this out. Might be worth your time. It's on Amazon, and I'm sure it's on Fandango, and different streaming, different rental spaces like that. But those are my thoughts on SAS Red Notice. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.